SodaStream jumping today after PepsiCo announced it was buying the sparkling bottle, bottle maker for about $3.2 billion, $144 per share. SodaStream up to $142. This is Pepsi's latest foray into sparkling water as the beverage has exploded in popularity over the last few years. Helped by brands like LaCroix, Spindrift, and Bubbly, which is also owned by PepsiCo, Topo Chico from Coca-Cola. There are a lot of players here. So could a sparkling water bubble be in effect? Joining us now is Bill Chappell from SunTrust Robinson Humphrey and Jeffrey Kleinman, editor-in-chief at BevNet. Bill, sparkling water bubble, it does appear to be growing a lot faster than even bottled water. Yeah, it's certainly I mean, probably too early to call it a bubble. Or if it is a bubble, it's probably too early before we can say it's going to pop. Everybody and their brother seems to realize that they've been making bubbly water for quite some time. They have a product to offer, and so be it Coke, be it Pepsi, but even companies like Constellation, some of the alcoholic beverages companies are, are getting into the market. So there are a lot of new products uh, hitting the shelves. We'll just wait to see what happens. Jeffrey, where does SodaStream fit in the sparkling water market share landscape? I mean, it is pretty fragmented with, with Nestle also a major player in this space. How much penetration well, does SodaStream have? Well, I think what's interesting is, as, as Bill was saying, the, the product type continues to grow. This is an interesting move because it lets, it, uh, it lets Pepsi access it at a different uh, usage point. You know, the in-home usage is almost uh, a different case for a lot of, for a lot of people. And if they, if they want to cut waste on the go, they're going to do that. Uh, or, I mean, if they want to cut waste in the in home, they're going to do that. So it's almost a, a good way to, to grab a chunk of what continues to be a fast-growing category. Bill, is this then fundamentally kind of a defensive move by PepsiCo? I mean, obviously, it's in, in keeping with some of their priorities lately. But this idea that if, in fact, there's going to be uh, an ongoing backlash against bottled water and perhaps then bottled seltzer, that this is a way uh, to offset some of that. Yeah, I think that's exactly the point. Uh, they're going to run this business as a standalone, not bring any of the Pepsi kind of brands or beverages to the, the SodaStream system. And it's almost, it's much like they're kind of tapping into the, the whole trend of plastic straws going to paper straws. You know, the, the worry or the opportunity is that there's that backlash on plastic bottles or there's some bubbling up of backlash on uh, the bottles. And so they're having defensive moves so they can tap into each of the markets, both bottled and non-bottled, and, and see how the market plays out. But they're, they're spending this more of a sustainability type acquisition, not just entering the, the seltzer water market. Jeffrey, you, you seemed interested in the point that this was a new channel and it wasn't just a, another sparkling water brand, that it was the, the do-it-yourself at-home model. It feels like the jury's still out on that whole concept after Keurig Cold was a total flop when it was launched a few years ago. You think the consumer is going to be wanting to make their own beverages at home? Is there a real future for mass market of this kind of technology well, I and use? I, I think what saved SodaStream, honestly, was a pivot to becoming a uh, carbonated water company rather than an at-home soda maker. Um, so I, I do believe that this is, this is something that does give Pepsi sort of the leading brand in this appliance space. Uh, the other part of it is, if you look back over the history of the bottled water category itself, about a decade ago, as everyone started to consume bottled water, not necessarily carbonated bottled water, there was a real race to the bottom on pricing. And this gives uh, Pepsi almost an insulated layer of, uh, of use for the product. Um, you know, they're selling a, a cartridge and, and an appliance instead of just selling bottles of water. So it, it's another line of business. Whether or not it's one that totally agrees with PepsiCo's ongoing plans is another yeah. question, but it's, it's certainly another part of the total beverage portfolio.